Good morning, it is 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas, and we're doing a throwback video from my old workspace. So basically we're taking a five quart bucket, taking a bunch of scrap wood like we have done in so many other videos. We're going to take some black diamond pigment. I think this was the first time I used this pigment actually. And we're gonna make like an icicle creamsicle bowl using this awesome pigment. I wanna say this is probably the first time I used this pigment. I can't remember. I did this all the way back in the summer of 2021. And I am just now getting to the commentary here in September of 2021. You guys probably aren't watching this until February of 2022. So I just went ahead and just poured all of this out into this epoxy and realized I might have used a little bit too much. And then we're just mixing it up with a little bit of white pigment in a little bit of epoxy. So we're going to get like this creamsicle effect, which is going to turn out absolutely amazing. I know I say this a lot, but this is one of my better bowls that I've ever made because it looks absolutely fantastic. So getting this all mixed up and then we're throwing in then the white epoxy and we're already, you already can kind of see like the creamsicle effect of it. So four and a half hours in the pressure pot and it comes out looking this cool, like it looks like a popsicle. It looks like a push pop. It looks really, really cool. And unfortunately the epoxy did adhere to the actual five quart bucket. So had to come back and just chip all that away. But really happy with it had a little bit of chipping which had me a little bit concerned but as you can see from the thumbnail this is going to turn out absolutely fa fantastic so gonna get that all set up we're gonna get the face plate on it and then we'll get it on the lathe so here we are uh just getting the face plate stuck on and i'll be honest i think this is like the first time i'm watching the commentary all the way through so there's gonna be some surprises in here that i probably don't remember but from what i can recall this turned out pretty good so getting that on the lathe got the face plate on give it a good spin and now we're just gonna go ahead and start working off that superficial layer and yes i am wearing a welder's jacket and i think i did this in either june or july of 2021 and initially we're getting you know some good ribbons but we're also getting a lot of glass off of it as well you can see we're getting like that spray effect of like sandpaper hitting you and that's why i'm wearing the actual uh jacket itself is because uh when that stuff is flying off the lathe and hitting your arms it tends to cut you irritate you a little bit and then it's just hard to work on the epoxy so we're just getting that superficial layer off not getting a lot of good ribbons but that's mostly because of the wood so when you do like a wood and epoxy mix you tend not to get like the cleanness of shaving so that has a lot to do with it as well and we're just working off that base layer coming back and forth really taking our time you can kind of already see how it's turning out and it's looking pretty amazing so far and uh, not a lot of issues so once we got the bottom rounded out real well the way we like it now we're just coming back with the bowl gouge and we're going to make a mortise so we can go ahead and reverse it on the chuck and get that portion taken care of so came back hit it with a couple of different chisels got the parting tool got the smaller medium sized uh, square carbide and then coming back with the larger carbide tool and then just trying to get that snug little fit and now we got a reversal on the chuck and we're going to take that superficial layer off good thing is we didn't have a big face uh, face block on the top of the actual bowl so we don't have a lot of material to get down with so now all we're doing is just taking down the superficial layers of the bowl getting that waste block taken care of so we can actually get everything nice even and flush before we actually start the gouging portion of it and this part I believe went relatively well just hitting it with both the gouge and the round carbide tool now we're starting to get some better ribbons off of it not a lot of like glass shattering type stuff like we did initially when we took the superficial layer off so coming back kind of worried about that large crack that's there as well anytime you have any kind of like large cracks or gouges like that typically it's going to work a little bit different on the chisel so you're going to have a lot of you know worry so here's a little bit of bigger close-up of it and my biggest fear at this point is that it's going to just basically that whole chunk just come off which would just be catastrophic for this bowl so at this point i'm just kind of like uh this might not turn out as well as i thought or you know think it is but took my time getting that superficial or uh, getting that superficial layer off and then just going into the middle gouging out the evenness of it just taking small slow methodical strokes as you can see here not really attacking it just really just kind of getting a feel for what it is on the chisel and just really taking our time uh, because if you come at the 
epoxy and what I've learned is if you attack the epoxy and just really just try to gouge it out really really fast it's just not going to end up well and then you're more likely to get some kind of catastrophic failure but overall right now everything's going really well we're getting the gouging portion taken care of now we're getting some nicer ribbons on the side where it's just the epoxy and you can see them hitting my hand and we've got it pretty much to the depth that we want so once that happens now we just start to work our way to the outer lip of the bowl and here it is a little bit later once we did a little bit more work on it now i'm just hitting it with the square carbide tool making sure that we're getting to the depth that we want and making sure that the lips on the side of the bowl are you know the size that we want as well and by now i'm pretty content that we're not going to have a catastrophic failure with the uh with that giant crack there and now we're just basically working off material trying to get everything nice and even before we start the fabulous part which you guys know i love sanding i can't sand sanding i don't think anybody likes to sand but now we're just doing some detailed work touching it up with a smaller carbide tool and we're all finished you can see all the shavings all the epoxy just scattered all over the workbench and this is why my wife made me get a workshop is because she was tired of getting all of this on her car and i can understand but here it is and then we'll just clean it up we'll start the sanding process and that's where we make our money is in the sanding so we'll start that right about meow so got the workbench cleaned up starting at 380 with just some dry sanding you can see my shoulder there looking really good going to start with 380 and then work all the way up to 1500 and then we're going to come back and hit it with a micro mesh this is where we do our wet sanding just on the epoxy portions not so much on where the wood is and this is where you just really get your polish and this is where it really looks like a creamsicle like a real like looks like ice cream it's it's amazing i love how this bowl turned out the marbling on it absolutely beautiful once you hit it with that w beautiful wood wax it just pops it looks amazing i love doing these swirl bowls past couple of weeks i've done uh primarily some swirl type of bowls and i absolutely love these these turn out absolutely beautiful and gorgeous everybody at work loves how these look and man it looks really really good and you can see this horrible transition here now we're just getting it buffed up real well getting that wood wax doing a couple of layers and it looks absolutely stunning absolutely love this bowl and i'm sure at the end of it i'm going to tell you how much i love it as well so this was one of the later projects that we did in the garage prior to the move so you guys are probably watching this in february so this is the last uh project that you guys are going to see from the old garage so kind of nostalgic really happy with the new workspace but it's always good to you know see where you came from so love how this turned out looks absolutely gorgeous beautiful piece there it is so i hope you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next project peace so the project is done this thing came out absolutely gorgeous real easy on the lathe i have learned from the past projects how to do these things appropriately without having a lot of mess ups even with giant cracks totally turned out beautiful that white swirl in there i could have done a little bit better with that but it looks absolutely amazing there's the bottom of it just absolutely gorgeous this is one of the first projects that i'm going to post for 2022 it's actually july 11th 2021 right now and i'm caught up far enough ahead to where i'm posting these videos now in 2022 uh, due to being in the military part-time on the weekends part-timer uh, I don't know what training and stuff I have to do so that's a big reason why I post these videos uh, so far in advance instead of posting them immediately when I do them because uh, you never know what life brings and I just want to keep growing this channel so good way to start off with for uh, 2022 Hope you guys are staying warm. It's about to rain here in Texas. It's absolutely beautiful outside. That's why I didn't do the usual where the sun's hitting and everything because it's all black clouds out there right now. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got something out of it. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this bowl. Love it. It's supposed to be red. This is more of an orange. Absolutely gorgeous. So hope you liked it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope everybody's doing great. All right. See you guys later. Peace.